Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Call of the Wild. Now, I know I didn't make a video yesterday, but we're definitely going to make one today. And what I want to talk about is the comparison between Silverage Peaks and kind of Verhunga Savannah. Because I feel like the new map, Rancho del Arroyo, is going to be very similar to the two maps combined. Now, Silverage Peaks is going to have pretty much every single animal the same as the new map. Except we're going to have a couple of new animals. We're definitely going to have the Bighorn Sheep. And we're gonna have the turkey, which we have a turkey right here. Um, but this area here and a lot of Silverage Peaks is not very open. Like a lot of places you can see, you know, only maybe 150 yards away from kind of like where any uh, lake or river is. However, on Rancho de los Rios, you're gonna be able to see for, I mean, four or 500 yards, sometimes even 600 yards in some places, depending on what the rendering is like. But that's a decent ram right there, so we're going to take him down. However, it's not really a good angle. So we might go for this one first. That way, hopefully this big one comes back out. I think we might have smoked a tree. <laughs> Honestly, I think we might have smoked that tree. But it looks like we're going to get a second chance at our huge ram. Here he is coming in right here, followed by another smaller one out there. Well, let's see if we can't make this count this time, guys. I think we dropped him, but I can't quite tell. Definitely must have made a hard job because he was coming this way. We took the shot and I didn't see anything run away. So we had to have dropped him. Um, but anyways, in a spot like this, you can sit there and the only way that you have for that ram or animal to come back, the only chance that you have to be able to get him again is to sit in that one little pocket and wait for him to walk back out. Whereas on the new map, if you miss the animal or if it doesn't come in, you can basically spot and stalk that thing and you can see him for miles. Like, say you take a shot and you miss. Well, you can easily track them, spot them in the next valley, you know, three, four hundred yards away, get on them and take the shot. Whereas here, you can't exactly do that. But here's our nice ram down right here. Let's take a look at him. Uh, he's got some pretty good curls on him. And in fact, we did make a double lung heart shot, 190 yards out and a 135.8. Kind of an awesome shot there and a really nice male ram. Turkeys! Now these things here are pretty interesting because on the new map they actually make a ton of noise so it's really cool and you can get pretty close to them you can hear them gobble sneak up on them and actually call them in here you can't really hear them very much they're out here and you can locate them but you can ask several people hunting turkey on this map is very very difficult of course it's a lot easier if you decide to use a 22 you know what I mean That definitely evens up the odds a little bit. I haven't used a 22 in a while, so when you're talking a 300 plus yard shot, then it's still going to be pretty difficult. But uh, to try and get them to come into a call here, it's, I mean, it will literally drive you wild. One time I sat there for an hour and a half waiting for a turkey to come in and he would not come in. Finally, I had to sneak up on him and then he started coming in and it was like, well, are you either going to come in or you're not going to come in. And here's our gobbler down right here. Let's take a look at him. Ended up taking a 306 yard shot and a 4.10 gold. Got another turkey flying right there, but I think that's actually a hen. Whatever it is, is down now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a hen. There was a tom here as well, but I haven't seen him. One thing, however, that we did not get on the new map are these guys here. And these are pretty cool. The only thing is, on this map, they really don't fit in. They would definitely fit on the new map, but who knows? Maybe in the future, they might add some. But we got a decent four out there at about 330, and we happen to have the M1. And we just spine shot that sucker. <laughs> yeah, definitely smoked that spine. <laughs> 320 yards out, right in the vertebrae. And again, here's another one of those spots where you come over here and you think, oh, that could be a cool spot, but you can really only see a little bit. Ooh, that's a good bear. That's a real good black bear. 
but like you can see here you can kind of see a little spot right there you know a couple openings here and there but all of this you really can't see through you know what i mean like there's no openings here got a gray mountain lion there there's a gobbler 200 yards out and he's going down he's down um why not take down that big black bear 250 smoked black bear all right so nice gobbler down and a black bear let's pick up our gobbler got a vertebrae shot boy we love hitting that vertebrae don't we <laughs> But a 4.10 gold. Just jumped up another gobbler. That's actually a max weight gobbler right there. We definitely want to get him. And we should have gotten him. Yeah, it definitely looks to me like we got him because I see a big red head right there. And if you look over there, I just saw our black bear piled up right over there. Here's our gobbler and a 4.4. Oh, barely missed the neck. Not a bad shot though, 177 yards. And here's our level seven black bear. Let's pick him up. Good one, 20 gold, doubling them at 250 yards out. There's another max weight gobbler for you, about 300 out. We're gonna have to try and get on him really quick here. Guess not. <laughs> one shot, 300 yards on the trot, and we got ourselves a nice gobbler down. Let's go get him. I honestly wasn't anticipating on hitting him that well. Especially that he was walking, but I'll take it. And here's our gobbler down right here. Ended up taking him at 308 yards and a 4.4 gold. So a pretty solid looking gobbler and a pretty decent shot as well. Now, what I'm trying to say is basically on the new map, you can actually hunt them the way that you want to hunt turkeys or the way that I like to hunt turkeys. You know, call them in. It doesn't matter what rifle or shotgun. You can even use a 22 if you want. But to actually be able to call them into the decoys is a thing. And the fact that they're so loud, you can hear them. So it's like you can hear where they're at before they're actually even coming into the call, which is awesome. And it's pretty sweet. I tried three different times to call in three different gobblers. And guess what? All three of those gobblers came right into range and I took them down all within about an hour. So that's pretty good considering on Silverage Peaks, it took me over an hour just to get one turkey to come in. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Now take a look at this map. We're out here on Verhunga Savanna and look how open it is out here. And not only that, the animals can be anywhere from the water holes all the way out to these wide open meadows like this. That's what's so cool about this new map coming out. You can see just like this, for instance, you know, we got a nice herd of springbok out here, 300 yards away and we're probably like 500 to 600 yards away from the nearest water hole out here. That's going to be a good four right there. About 300 yards out. We have the Mose and the Gaunt, but I honestly don't know if we could take that shot. It's pretty far. Okay, I suppose we'll try it. Let's zero in for 320 yards and hold for the middle of the lung. I mean, honestly, that should have been a heart shot, but we were just a hair too low. Still got him though, so I'll take it. I'm actually pretty impressed with that. I thought for sure we're gonna drop low and hit that thing right in the front shoulder, somewhere low in the leg, and we wouldn't have gotten it, but somehow we got it, so I'm pretty happy with that. You know what, I'll take it. So for instance, if you just jump from water hole to water hole to water hole, you can get animals, but it's like, you're not gonna have as much fun. You're gonna get burnt out really, really fast versus say you can hunt from here all the way to this water hole. Then you can hunt from here all the way to this water hole. You have just as good a chance of getting a diamond here as you do right here, you know? And that's, to me, that's one of the big factors in the new map coming up. Yeah, we dropped a little bit low there, but still a pretty good shot. Right lung at 308 yards and a 96 score in gold. Springbok. Uh-oh. I didn't plan on messing with this, but uh, we got a lioness right here and she doesn't seem to be too happy. I got the M1, which we can't use, but come on, bring it on, bring it on. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Headshot. No, stay back. 
She's down. All right, good. You gotta be careful. These lionesses are very aggressive. They'll attack you and they'll take you down. And we don't have any med kits, so we really can't uh, afford to be taken down by a lioness at this point. Somehow we got a vital hit and I don't know how, but that is definitely a vital hit right there. I tried to hit it in the head, so I don't know. Looks like we just barely clipped a lung and the vertebrae there, 160 yards out. But yeah, that first shot, we tried for a headshot and pulled off a little bit too far to the right side. Then you come up over this next ridge here and you can see again, another 400 yards, 450, 500 yards. 450 is render, so we got a lion out there actually. 400 yards out, we got another. That's literally the smallest lion that I've ever seen. A level three, are you kidding me right now? Oh man, we gotta get that thing. Now I know we have the M1, which we really can't use, but it's a level three. <laughs> what difference is it gonna make? Oh my god, a tiny, tiny level 3 lion. If I can't find the level 3, we might as well just take down this level 5 until level 3 decides to show himself. Well, we got a wildebeest out there. 180 yards out, we'll take her down. Ooh, that was a beautiful heart shot if I ever seen one right there. Let's go take a look at her. Nice double lung heart shot at 156. And she's only a female. Or this here, where we have a bunch of kudu out here, right out in this wide open meadow here. And then we have a decent Cape Buffalo out here. But again, you can just keep on looking and keep on seeing. Nothing too impressive. There's actually one. He just called right there somewhere. That means he's got to be over that ridge. Let's see if we can't get eyes on him. He had a pretty decent weight, so he should definitely be gold potential. Yeah, that's going to be him right there. Let's see if we can't find him. Oh, there he goes. No, don't go that way. Why would you run that way? He's actually coming towards us, it looks like. Oh, there he goes. That's a tough shot. The last shot, the last shot. Put it right on the money and dropped him right there. Wow, good thing we had the M1 because we needed every single bullet that we just had right there. And ended up getting a running neck shot at 167 yards out, I'll take that. And of course, last but not least, this spot right here. This is one of the most open spots in Africa. It is absolutely amazing. And not only that, there's a ton of animals here. So if you look left and you look right, it's just wide open spaces out here. That's a decent level four. Actually, that's a pretty good level four right there. About 418 yards out. It's not really a good angle for a shot, but we'll see if he turns for us. All right, that's him right there. And he's hit, he is hit solid. Well, what do we got cutting across here now? A bunch of Cape Buffalo, 440 yards out. That one's 460, 470 yards. He's actually a huge level seven, but we don't have anything to take him down with. Oh, another level seven out there. Besides what I was gonna say is the M1. It would be kind of cool to take that shot though. It really would be. 470 yards. Right over the top of him. Oh man. It had so much potential. And if you look right over there, we got a nice wildebeest coming in. A real nice level four. He's actually gold potential and he stopped at about 400 yards. Uh, it looks to be walking a little bit right there, but we're gonna attempt to take the shot. However, I wanna switch out scopes for this one. Cause 400 yards. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. there we go, there we go. Much better. And that should have been a good hit. I held high and forward. But we definitely got him and he's going down. Right? There. We got some pretty good blood right here, but he's been running for quite a ways. I'm really hoping we can find him. I mean, I saw him go down, but... Oh! <laughs> 
man. <laughs> we literally watched him pile up right there. Well, you guys are gonna have to freeze the screen and let me know what this one scores, how far the shot was, and where we hit him. <laughs> because we can't see him. And we took the shot right up there at about 490 yards. The shot was about 415 or something like that. But anyways, see if you can't pause the screen and let me know. Uh, did that say a kudu? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it just showed a kudu on the screen. So in just that little bit of time, we took down over four different species of animals all right here basically what i'm trying to say is if you like silver ridge peaks and you like africa or virhunga savannah then you're most definitely gonna love rancho de arayos it's an amazing map and i hope you guys like it which is coming out on pc tomorrow anyways that's gonna be it hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time